Now, you'll recall a textbook mentions this film as a classic study of voyeurism. And this is a great film that influences later filmmakers because it reflects on the movie going process itself. And so like L.B. Jeffries, Jimmy Stewart's character, when we're at the movies, particularly this kind of movie, we are voyeurs. We're hoping to see sensational things on the screen. In fact, each one of the little windows in rear window has its own silent film screening going on. And each of those silent film screenings contains a little story that seems to reflect on various facets of the protagonist's psychology. So Rear Window really does this by creating a story world in which the protagonist often looks very much like a moviegoer. And he's got his choice of his little screens across the way, supposedly at a safe distance, right? But in fact, this film really asks us to question our assumptions about why we go to the movies. Are we also ghouls? Like Lisa says, Grace Kelly's character. Are we ghouls Finally. like Lisa and Jeff? Just a second. If not, if we're not ghouls, you got it? Not, it's perfect, thank six. you. Uh, the money's Why under the mat. Why don't just simply get up? Yeah, just leave the food by the door. Thank you so much. Have a good night. starts watching you back and this happens right in probably what's the most startling moment in the film the watched becomes the watcher and Thorvald the killer played by Raymond Burr he sees Jeffries Jimmy Stewart watching him and because of the shot plan because of the camera work because of the editing Thorvald is also confronting us the viewer. And that's really interesting. Remember when he comes over to the apartment to attack uh, Jeffries and Thorwald, no notice what he says, his very first comment when he confronts Jeffries in his apartment. He says, what do you want from me? Isn't that interesting? It's such an unusual thing to say in this situation, but it's also designed as a philosophical question for the viewer. What do you want from watching films? Why are you watching such salacious, disturbing stuff? What are the movies really for? And is it actually a healthy pastime watching films? Or is it in fact evidence of a sick mind? Yeah, I mean, that's a good point. Cause like right now we're all kind of in that situation where, you know, we're stuck at home and doing a lot of video chats and you know seeing into other people's lives through little windows and stuff like that so the textbook also calls the main character a detached observer which can relate directly to social media because you always hear like the older generations um saying that younger kids on social media are detached from reality and just like obsessed with their phones and seeing what other people are doing with their lives. Um, so I think it's really interesting how this movie can still hold up in some aspect in today's world like that. That's awesome. I think one of the most engaging things about Alfred Hitchcock, particularly in Rear Window, is how he expertly inserts us into the film and we become the voyeur just how he intended us to. And that can go right back into our lives, especially right now when we're having all of these online meetings, but also it can go right back into our real lives. Just how we window shop every day and how we look outside our windows and apartments. Guys, Billy's gone. I'm sure he just lost connection. No, we got in a fight. <sighs> he was bleeding. It happened so f Uh, look. If he lost connection, I'm sure he'll be back in the call soon. No, so Professor, just, he's uh, in trouble. Can you the discussion without him for Come now? Come on. Yeah. Um, where was I? Uh, talking, talking about, about, sorry, talking about uh, 
like voyeurism and like how it connects to our life now. And I really think that's like a good connection to make because when you said that like in Rear Window, when he's watching other people's lives like through their windows, we're essentially like doing that now because it's the only thing we really like can do to see each other and like see the news, like see what other people are doing. Very interesting comment. Anyone else want to weigh in?